Rabat is the capital of Morocco, home to its government and the royal family. The magnificent royal palace is one of the many king's palaces. It is protected by guards and unfortunately tourists are not allowed inside. Chala is an ancient ruin and medieval fortified Islamic necropolis. It was first inhabited by the Phoenicians and later it was conquered by the Romans and it was known as Sala Colonia. In the 12th century it had fallen to ruin and was abandoned. Chala was rebuilt in the 14th century by the Marinid dynasty and was used as a royal burial place. A mosque and walls were built at the necropolis with an imposing gate. century, Chala was destroyed by an earthquake. Today, the place is home to a colony of storks. This unfinished minaret is called Hassan Tower. The 400 columns and pillars are the grand reminder of the mosque that was never completed. It could have been the largest mosque in the entire Muslim world. It was big enough to hold the entire army. It was the dream of the great Almohad's ruler, Abu Yusuf Yaqbul Mansur. Unfortunately, in 1199, only four years after work started, the ruler died. The mosque remained in its unfinished state. On the opposite side of the Hassan Tower stands the beautiful mausoleum of Muhammad V, the father of Moroccan independence. Kaspa was a fortified place. The local leader lived there and defended it when the city was under attack. Picturesque Kadaya Kaspa, that takes its name from a desert tribe, was built in the 12th century, but it hosts the history of the dynasties that ruled the region for over a thousand years. an important outpost of the Roman Empire between 40 BC and 285 AD. During the Diocletian reign, the city was abandoned by the Romans for reasons that remain obscure, and Volubilis entered the Dark Age. Today, we can still see the remarkable buildings from that time, like the Capitol, Basilica, Triumphal Arch, or the floors of the grand villas of villagers decorated with magnificent mosaics.
Medina is a historic part of town, often walled with many narrow and maze-like streets. Each Medina has a mosque, a school called Madrasa, a water fountain, a public bakery, and a public bathhouse called Hamam. The Medina of Fez is incredible. It is the world's most perfectly preserved medieval city with the oldest university in the world, donkey transport, and the famous tanneries. The Sahara Desert is one of the harshest places on earth, but it's also incredibly beautiful. Riding on a camel caravan guided by a Tuareg is an unforgettable experience. Sunset over the Erg Chevy Dunes is a spectacular event that will leave everybody breathless. The Tuareg present the most iconic images of the Sahara. They are called the blue people of the desert, not only because of the color of their clothing, their skin is also blue. It is stained by the indigo dye of their veils and robes. The oases of Tangier are famous for palm trees and the magnificent Caspa. Todga Gorge is a beautiful canyon in the eastern part of the High Atlas Mountains. It is very narrow with rock walls over 500 feet high on each side. The Eager Stream is surprisingly cold, but it just emerges there from the underground. Telue is known for one of the most spectacular caspas in the Atlas Mountains. It was built by the Glaoui brothers, self-styled sultans of the south. The construction began in the early 20th century, but was never completed. Caspa is slowly deteriorating, but is still quite impressive. Andalusian style rooms have engraved stucco work, painted cedar ceilings, and doors and colorful zalige tile work.
The Caspo was abandoned after Glaoui's cooperation with the French and their fall from grace. The Kotobia Mosque is an emblem of the city. It is a brilliant example of Moorish architecture. It was originally completed in 1147, but 10 years later it was rebuilt because the mihrab, a niche indicating the direction of prayer, was not aligned correctly with the Mecca. The ruins of the original mosque are still next to the Kotubia. The Hia Palace was built by two powerful viziers in the 19th century. The best craftsmen in the kingdom were hired to build and decorate this palace. The beautiful gardens, courtyards, and cool reception halls with their intricate zalige tile floors, painted cedar ceilings, finely carved stucco, and magnificent wooden doors are very impressive. The Sidian tombs were built in the 16th and 17th century as a final resting place of the Sidian dynasty rulers. After the collapse of the dynasty, at the end of the 17th century, the tombs were bricked up by a mad sultan, Muay Ismail. They were forgotten for more than 200 years and they were rediscovered in 1917 during an aerial survey of the Medina. Majorelle Garden is a small paradise built by the painter Jacques Majorelle, who fell in love with Morocco. It was later bought by a fashion designer, Yves Saint Laurent. The name Ezoira, derived from Arabic, means small fortress surrounded by walls. It is an excellent example of a fortified North African coastal town where Spanish cannons still line the battlements. In Casablanca, the Hassan II Mosque is an emblem and masterpiece of Arab Islamic architecture. It is partly built on the water, referring to the Quranic verse, the throne of God was on the water. The construction lasted only six years. 2,500 builders and 10,000 craftsmen worked 24 hours every day. The prayer hall can accommodate 25,000 worshippers. Another 80,000 can gather on the outside grounds. The mosque is equipped with a movable roof.
The Ablution Hall is an architectural jewel. It contains 41 fountains. السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم في المغرب شكرا على زيارتكم هنا في بلادنا